Okay, guys, so we're looking at question 11 now. Again, a bit of geometry. But it says, in the diagram below, C, D, and M are points on the circle. C, D, and M. So ignore this line that I've drawn in here, D, M. That's a construction, right? So just ignore that. I'll explain that just now. So it says, um, angle M, C, D is X. K, D is a tangent, right, to the circle at D. And then it says E um, is a point on DK. EM is another tangent. So what we should be thinking, right, is because this, these are tangents from the same point, E, they're equal, okay? So you should be thinking isosceles triangle. You should be thinking maybe tan chord because we have tangents, right? So you should be thinking about um, different um, ways that we can use tangents to prove things, okay? Then it says um, K, angle KME is X plus 45 degrees and EKM is 2X minus 40. So then the question asks us to determine the value of X. Okay, so I think it's a little bit easier to do to determine the value of X down here than necessarily up there, even though we'll use that now. I'll show you how we'll use that. Okay, so I drew in this construction. The reason I did that is I said, okay, there's a bit of isosceles triangles going on there and maybe a bit of tan chord. Um, because I know that these two things are equal, so I drew that in myself, okay? So, I drew that in, and now I say angle MDE equals X, okay? So, MDE equals X. Now, you could be saying, well, why is that? Well, do a little bit of a flipperoo, right? And you'll see that this is tan chord, right? Because I've drawn this in here, this is a tangent, right? This X will equal that x over there, or this, sorry, this angle will equal that angle. Both will be x, right, because of tan chord, okay? So we have tan chord there. But now we know that dme also equals x because of isosceles, right? You could say isosceles triangle, right? And then it's also, I mean, those are enabled by tangent from common point, Okay, I told you those thing, two things equal. So this has to equal X because it's isosceles. Okay, so now we can work out what the angle E is, right? So therefore, the angle E equals 180 minus X minus X because of angles in a triangle. Okay, so let's just simplify that. Okay, so that's what we have there. So, but now what we can see, which is fantastic, right, is E is actually an exterior angle, right, to this triangle here. So, 80, 180 minus 2x will equal the sum of those two because of exterior angles in a triangle. Remember, exterior angles of a triangle is an underrated <laughs> um, reason, right, but it sometimes pops up here and there. So, it's important to remember that. So, if you don't see that, switch it around, you'll see exterior angle. And remember, exterior angle says the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite to interior. Okay, so we're going to say 180 minus 2x equals x plus 45 plus 2x minus 40. Okay, and we're going to say here exterior angles of a triangle. Remember to always put in your reasons. Let's now put everything together. So I'm going to have negative 5x this side, and I'm going to have 180 minus 85. I hope I did that right. Okay, so we're going to have 90. Am I doing this right? No, I'm not. You I'm lying to myself. Okay, this is plus 45, negative 180, plus 45, neg minus 40. Sure, my algebra is shockers today. Okay, negative 180 plus 45 minus 40. Okay, so we're going to have negative 175 and negative 5x. So let's divide that by negative 5. So x equals 35. Okay, so that is the, the best way to go about reasoning it, okay? When you have tangents, when you have tangents from the same point, always be thinking tan chord and isosceles triangles, okay? Sorry about my very, very poor algebra there, but I hope you followed that. Um, that's the end of question 11. Let's now go into question 12, the last question for this paper.